Hey everyone, welcome back to Edgy. Today we're diving into the world of network attached storage with the brand new Ugreen DXP4800 Plus. Whether you're a content creator, a small business owner, or just someone exploring ways to enhance your home storage, this device might be worth checking out. Let's get started. First off, let's take a look at what comes with the device. Right away we have the NAS unit itself, a power adapter, two ethernet cables, magnetic dust mesh filter, user manual and warranty card information, two hard drive tray key, two SSD thermal pads, screws and screwdriver. Everything is neatly packaged and Ugreen has definitely paid attention to the unboxing experience. Taking a closer look at the design, the DXP4800 Plus features a sleek aluminum chassis with a minimalist look that blends seamlessly into any setup. The build quality is solid and the front panel includes easy access drive bays making hard drive installation a breeze. Let's dive into the key specifications of this model and see what makes it a compelling choice for both home and professional use. Starting with storage capabilities, this NAS offers impressive options. It supports up to a massive 112 terabytes of storage through its four SATA bays, each accommodating up to 24 terabytes. On top of that, it features two M.2 SSD slots, perfect for SSD caching or expanding your storage with high-speed performance. The NA-Sync DXP4800 Plus runs on the Intel 12th Gen Pentium Gold 8505 CPU, featuring five cores, one performance core, and four efficient cores, a turbo frequency of up to 4.4 GHz for performance core, and 3.3 GHz for efficient cores with 8 MB L3 cache. Equipped with 10 gigabit and 2.5 gigabit ethernet ports, this NAS is tailored for creators and professionals handling large files, such as 4K video editing or rapid data transfers. Network speeds reach up to 1,250 megabytes per second. Comes with eight gigabytes of DDR5 RAM and can be upgraded to 64 gigabytes, offering flexibility for heavier workloads or multiple concurrent tasks. The Yugos Pro OS provides an intuitive interface for managing storage. Its dedicated app works across platforms like Windows, Mac, Android, and iOS, making remote access seamless. The NA-Sync DXP4800 Plus is equipped with a variety of USB ports for versatile connectivity. The front panel features a high-speed USB-C and USB-A port, both supporting data transfer rates of up to 10 gigabits per second, while the rear panel includes a USB-A port with speeds up to 5 gigabits per second and two USB 2.0 ports for basic peripheral connections. On the software side, it supports RAID configurations 0, 1, 5, 6, and 10, giving you flexibility between performance and redundancy. Setting up the DXP4800 Plus is straightforward. Simply slide out the drive trays, mount your hard disk drives, and slide them back in. For now, I have two Seagate hard disk drives, each with 12 terabytes of storage. On the back side, we have the ability to install two M.2 NVMe SSD using a screwdriver. It is an optional feature, but I purchased two Samsung 990 Evo Plus solid state drives, each with one terabyte of storage. Let me go ahead and install them. Connect the NAS to your router using the ethernet cable, plug in the power, and you're good to go. Let's begin the initial setup of our device. Ugreen offers a user-friendly web interface to guide us through the process. Ensure that the NASync device and computer are on the same LAN network. 
Visit find.eugnus.com and the system will automatically search and display the devices in your current LAN. Just select the device you want to add and click connect and your NAS device will be added successfully. After your first start, you need to name your device and register a local administrator account to manage this device. It's pretty easy. The next one is an optional step of a bind if you already have an account, or create a new Ugreen Cloud account to use additional functions like Ugreen Link and Quick Login. After that, Ugreen recommends you upgrade your system to the latest version so you will have a better system usage experience. It took 15 minutes in my case. Next, you need to create your first storage pool and set up RAID. On the right side of the screen, there is a Ugreen helper with multiple options. Just press on the Create Volume for Using Storage option. After, we need to choose the RAID type. I have only two HDDs, so the most suitable for me is RAID 1, then select the hard disk in a lockable capacity. Worth mentioning that before completing your disk will be formatted and all data from your disks will be deleted. Review and confirm. Now let's create SSD cache. It can be created from the storage manager. From the hard drive options, you can select the M2 hard drive button either from the context menu or directly from the storage settings. This allows you to configure SSDs as a cache. Then in the context menu, click on SSD cache management and create button on the modal window. Then choose the volume and cache mode, available only when the volume is in red write mode. Select the cache RAID type in SSD drive if red write cache mode was on selected on the previous window. It will require two SSDs. After you need to allocate cache capacity, it should be less than 80% of SSD storage to prevent data loss. Now review and confirm the SSD cache configuration and click Apply. Pay attention, all data on the M2 drive will be erased. After the cache is successfully created, you can view the created SSD cache under the corresponding volume in Storage Management, Storage Pools and Spaces. Now let's create first folder. Go to the directory where you want to create the folder, click the plus button or right click in the blank area of the panel, then new folder to jump to the new folder wizard. Enter a folder name and click confirm. Overall the web interface is clean and intuitive. From the dashboard you can monitor system health, storage usage and network activity. There is some notable software features include file management, easy drag and drop file transfers, App Center. Expand functionality with apps for download management, surveillance, and more. Backup Solutions. Support scheduled backups to external drives or cloud services. I recently backed up all my phone galleries in a few clicks. All files were saved in the Photos folder and sorted by years and months. Very handy. Media Server. 
DLNA support for streaming to devices like smart TVs and gaming consoles. Let's talk about performance. I ran some file transfer tests over my local network. I used the amorphous disk mark tool and just a bunch of video files with an approximate size of around 11 gigabytes. The NAS is connected to my AT&T router and I tested it in real life conditions with a few other devices connected to my Wi-Fi network and file transfer I did over the Wi-Fi network too. Amorphous disk mark. Read speeds reach 7.2 megabytes per second, while write speeds 4.7 for 16 megabyte files. For simply copying files, the average speed was 5 megabytes per second. As you may see, the results are not very impressive on the Wi-Fi. I think I can achieve much higher speed through a cable connection, also with link aggregation enabled. I can potentially achieve 20 gigabits per second. Ugreen also offers a mobile app available on iOS and Android. It allows you to Access files remotely. Upload photos and videos directly from your phone. Play videos directly from the NAS. And receive real-time notifications about your NAS status. So after spending some quality time with the DXP4800+, here are my thoughts. Advantages. Solid build quality with a sleek design. Excellent hardware years ahead of competitors. AI-based functionality. Various network ports. User-friendly interface. Versatile RAID support. Good performance for both large and small file transfers. SSD caching option. Expandable RAM for improved multitasking. Kickstarter price. Quick technical support. Disadvantages. UGOS operation system is still new, it was launched six months ago, and luck of apps. Overall, the Ugreen DXP4800 Plus offers a compelling package for its price point. I think it is a good start in just six months or so of being on the market. 4Bay model offers you multiple features from higher models and hardware more than what any other company comes with. Yes, it may require to replace standard software, but most of it is free. It's perfect for users who need a reliable and easy to use NAS without breaking the bank. Whether you're backing up important documents, managing media files, or setting up a personal cloud, this NAS has got you covered. I'm rooting for UG and hope that in five years they'll become a killer brand. If you're curious about the Ugreen DXP4800 Plus, check the links below. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more tech content. Got questions? Drop them in the comments. I'll do my best to reply. See you next time. Bye.